Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Things.com, and in today's video, I want to talk about uh, something that I found really important in my own life, in my own career as a as a, as a coder online, so building my own coding business online, um, and that I have found time and time again, and also like I've I've seen many 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 very successful people actually focusing on this one thing, whereas uh, most I would say unsuccessful and unhappy people who struggle in life uh, just ignore this one thing. So, what is the one thing? Um, so this is actually the, the thing is to put yourself in an environment where you can thrive and you should ask yourself the questions are you in, a question are you in an environment where you really can thrive where you can really so if you do the right things will you reach success or um, by your definition right it can be any definition it can be monetary success uh, so for example if you work say 12 hours in your in, in your job every day doing the right things being super super um, uh, super successful in the things you do um, or actually like uh, finishing the, the the success metric that you are given by your company or by your environment if you do those things will you reach what you want uh, in life right or not if not you should go the hell out of out of your uh, environment and, ser and search for an environment where you can actually thrive right so um uh, i'm i'm not always working in the forest <laughs> i work so i have my own coding business um uh, uh, online so i think and i actually when i become self-employed i uh, before i was self-employed I, I i was working as a doctoral researcher in uh, university and I enjoyed the job a lot. I enjoyed the people around me and everything. Uh, but I mean, all of them were employees, right? And uh, like, even if I were really successful in life, so even like the most successful path I could have taken was to publish a lot of papers and uh, like it was a high, uh, like a moonshot success, right? I published a lot of paper. So like after finishing my PhD, I, I should have uh, actually stayed as a postdoc then focusing on research a couple of years, forget about everything else, working, working say 60, 70 hours per week, um, uh, being very in, inflexible. So don't see my family, don't see my young children, just focusing all I have on research, doing nothing else. And, um, and like the, the best case moonshot would have been to become a professor in the end, right? After say 10, 10 more years after finishing my PhD, I, I could have uh, accomplished like a professor title and uh, this would be the moonshot, right? And then I, was, I would work as a professor. And for, for some people, this would be the ideal career path, right? Many people, they actually don't, they want to become a, a professor. They think, I mean, if this is my end goal or end, end game, I'm really happy, but not for me. So I, I didn't want to become a professor. I actually wanted to have lots and lots of free time. I wanted to, to, to walk, to think to create a business. I wanted, I wanted to be in an environment where I can create my own coding business online. I want to be very flexible and be my own boss, work on the thing I, things I, I actually enjoy doing. And uh, so I started as a freelancer, creating my own coding business. And when I did this, actually everything changed for me because now I had an environment where I could thrive, where nothing was holding me back. So if I, if I doubled the success in my environment, actually my results doubled as well, right? So I doubled the actions I get twice the twice the results and this was very different uh, for, for me working as an employee and most people i see today uh, work in companies where they don't they cannot thrive in those companies they have to they have to go there say they work for eight nine hours if they're really ambitious they add some more hours to the to their to their uh, work life right but they cannot escape the fundamental truth that they are in a place where they cannot thrive even if they are really successful in their job their bosses will just keep them in their boss in their jobs, right? Because they are so successful. Because the bosses actually they don't they they they, um, they don't want to uh, change a running system, right? So they so if they see you are successful as an employee, they would just want to keep you there. <laughs> and uh, and this uh, uh, there are some companies that are exceptions, right? And, but many companies are not. And then add to that that uh, most companies fail eventually. So the lifespan of companies much much. Uh, smaller than the lifespan of a human individual, which means that most people will have to change their jobs uh, in their careers. So they like if you invest a lot of time and effort and energy into one company, chances are that everything will, will be lost uh, when the company fails. And uh, chances are that you will have 10 or 20 years or so in, the, in, the, in a struggling company that actually cannot pay you well and that cannot uh, cannot promote you to the to the success you deserve. So if you are in such an environment, you should go out. You should leave this environment as quickly as possible. You should not invest even more uh, into this into this into this black hole that just sucks all your energy and sucks all your effort and sucks all your success and life happiness uh, out of you. Right. So this is like the. Um, I think this is 
it is critical, right? But many people don't see it. Actually, if you are in the wrong envi environment and you have to define for yourself what, what does it mean? What does it mean to be in the right environment for me? Because it's very specific, right? I mean, it, it, for example, for me, the right environment is, an, is of course, the online business world. So this is, this is just my ideal environment and writing books and doing all those things I enjoy doing, right? I enjoy every aspect of it. So this is the right environment for me. But for you, it may be the wrong environment, right? But uh, in, many, in any case, uh, I think the chances of you finding your right environment are much higher if you are in the, in, uh, if you work as a home-based, stay-at-home freelance coder. If you are in a programming space, right? Because now you can actually you can go you can uh, work on any topic within the broad technology or computer science space and create some value for clients in those in this niche and this can be your can be a niche you are very passionate about for example machine learning blockchain development uh, or like anything like uh, uh, it, it, it really can be anything right so uh, you are re you are super excited about and you can learn it you can master it you can become very good at it and you can uh, you can actually harvest the low hanging fruits in this in this area and it will be very it will be fun it very will be simple you are, you have complete control over your environment so if you don't enjoy one particular aspect of your environment you can actually change it and oftentimes you cannot do it in, uh, in as an as an employed person and uh, add to that that many companies will actually struggle so you so if you are a freelancer you are only you are not betting on a particular company you are just betting on the on the fact that there will be at least one company in the world that is willing to hire you for your skills uh, in a certain point in time uh, but if you are an employee you are betting all you have on one single company and if this company fails you will you will struggle in the years before it fails right you will struggle without any fault of your own i mean this is just the nature of things this is i think the nature of of being employed versus being a freelancer it's just first principles thinking and oftentimes uh, people actually don't see that they put themselves that they work in an, in an environment where they even in the best case uh, uh, if, they, if they pour all, the, all their heart in it, and if they have luck in their in their environment, then even then they have an uninspiring outcome. And this is the wrong. If this is the case for you, you, sh you should, in my opinion, just um, leave it, like go out of it and search for something better, because there are better things for you. Anyways, I just want to share this. If you like those type of uh, videos about business and freelancing stuff, then please give me a like and subscribe. You can also check out our freelancer course. I give a link in the description below where I show you how to, how to actually uh, how to uh, to get this transformation going. So from from being um, a newbie coder to being a, a successful freelancer who actually makes their first uh, earns their first bucks on on Upwork and on a, on the freelancing platform, the largest freelancing marketplace, and uh, yeah, starts uh, co taking uh, taking. Uh, control over their own life. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video. Bye.